Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert between decimals and percents. So decimals to percents and percents to decimals. We'll start with decimals to percents. So let's jump into number one, where we have 0 0.45, 45 hundredths. Now, when we go from a decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100. And a quick way to multiply by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the right. So for number one, let's move that decimal twice to the right. Again, we're multiplying by 100 here. So once, twice. And now the decimal comes after the five. That gives us 45. So 45 hundredths equals 45%. And that's it, we converted that decimal to a percent. Let's move on to number two, where we have 0 0.3, 3 tenths. Let's multiply by 100 to convert this to a percent. And again, we can do that by moving the decimal twice to the right. Now for this one, I'm going to rewrite it underneath so we have a little more room. Let's move it once and then twice to the right. So the decimal is going to go right here. Now we need to fill this gap, this place, with a zero. So 3 tenths equals 30%. Moving on to number three, we have 0 0.06, 6 hundredths. Let's multiply by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the right. So the decimal comes after the six. 6 hundredths equals 6%. And then moving on to number four, we have 0 0.875, 875 thousandths. Let's multiply by 100 to convert this to a percent. So let's move this decimal twice to the right, and it's going to go in between the seven and the five. So we end up with 87.5%. And that's how we go from decimals to percents. We multiply by 100. And we can quickly multiply by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the right. Now let's move on to numbers 5 through 8. And here we're going to go from percents to decimals, starting with number 5, where we have 20%. Now here we're going to be going the opposite way that we did for numbers 1 through 4. So we're starting with a percent we're going to need to divide by 100 here. And a quick way to divide by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the left. So for 20%, let's rewrite this with a decimal at the end. The decimal comes after the ones place, after a whole number. We can always write a decimal after a whole number if need be. We typically don't write them though with a whole number because they aren't needed. So something to keep in mind. Now let's divide by 100 to convert this. So move the decimal once, twice to the left. So now it's to the left of the two and we end up with 0 0.20, so 20 hundredths. Now I included a zero to the left of the decimal in the ones place to help show that we have a decimal here. That helps us recognize we are working with a decimal, helps us see the decimal. Now this is correct, but I also want to mention, remember, zeros to the right or following our decimal digits do not change the value of anything. So really, we can write this as 0 0.2, so 2 tenths as well. So again, taking that zero on the end off doesn't change the value of our decimal. So those are equivalent. So 20% equals 20 hundredths or two tenths in decimal form. Let's move on to number six where we have 99%. So let's rewrite this with a decimal and then we will divide by 100 by moving the decimal once, twice, to the left. So we end up with 0.99, and we can write this as 0 
nine. So 99 hundredths. So 99% equals 99 hundredths. Moving on to number seven, we have 5%. So let's rewrite this with a decimal. And then we can divide by 100 by moving the decimal once, twice to the left. And then we can fill that gap, fill that place with a zero. So we have 0 0.05, 5 hundredths. So 5% equals 5 hundredths. Lastly, let's move on to number eight, where we have 72.3%. So let's rewrite this and move the decimal twice to the left. So we are dividing by 100 once, twice. So we end up with 0 0.723, so 723 thousandths. 72.3% equals 723 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how to go from decimals to percent and percents to decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.